Okay, the greatest punchline of all time, Freak Mill continues to disrupt Meek Mill's spirit. Academics claim that Meek Mill sent a SWAT to his house. Never heard of that before. I've never heard of somebody getting roasted so bad that they sent a SWAT to somebody's house. Also, there has to be a better protocol for SWAT. Like, people shouldn't be able to prank people with SWATs to the house. Like, this is a serious thing. I don't live in the gangster rap world, but from the outside looking in, that's gotta be the most non-gangster thing you could do, right? Is to send a SWAT. I thought the police was like the last people you're supposed to call. The first person Meek Mill called. Like, this is this is, this is not making it look, look any better for you. Like, it's snitching on snitching. Governor, SWAT. Only thing academics is a threat to is younger men's minds. Or DoorDash. I'm sure all that streaming he does, he orders out a lot. I guess we'll continue to watch the weirdest beef in rap history. Robert swear they love comedy and jokes until you start talking about them. Then, then they send a SWAT to your house. You ain't send a SWAT to Kevin Hart's house. Oh, now you want to call the police. What about when you were at Diddy's house? Funny thing is like Nicki Minaj had a bunch of SWATs come to her house and she also hates academics. So in some weird way, this is like SWAT karma. So Nicki Minaj hates academics. Academics has beef with Meek Mill. Meek Mill hates Nicki Minaj. Oh, academics has to like call Nicki Minaj or somebody on Nicki Minaj's team and be like, what do you do when somebody sends a SWAT? So now you got to ask your enemy for SWAT advice.